Hi friends, welcome back to another video of Ejua channel. So today we are introducing anti-snake venom, that is snake venom anti-serum. So in this video we will be telling about the composition of anti-snake venom and how to use and the contraindications of the snake venom anti-serum. So this is actually a vial of snake venom anti-serum and it is in the form of lyophilized, that is powderized form. So this contain immunoglobulins as dried fragments and this should be usually reconstituted with normal saline or glucose. So this vial has got the capacity to neutralize the venom of cobra, common crate, Russell's viper and saw scaled viper. So in case of administration we should only go for intravenous route of administration that is slow administration that is two to four minutes and you have to always be vigilant that you should not give this drug at intramuscular administration or at the site of bite via intramuscular route so since we cannot calculate the dose of venom in the body we cannot calculate the dose of antivenom needed to eliminate the venom so usually in case of human beings and all, we will be giving two vials. That is as soon as the patient comes with the bite, we will be giving two vials. But in case of very large animals such as cattle, horses and all, first of all we will be going for four. So in case of large animals such as cattle and horses, we will be uh, mainly administering nearly four vials. Four vials are needed. So we can see what is the composition. That is... After reconstitution, each ml neutralizes the following quantities of standard venom that is 0 0.6 mg venom of cobra, 0 0.45 mg of common crate, 0 0.6 mg of Russell Swiper and 0 0.45 mg of saw scale wiper. The preservative used is Crisol, the stabilizer used is glycine and the excipients are mannitol and sodium chloride. So you can directly reconstitute the content of each vial with 10 ml of sterile water or it can be glucose. So it is mainly effective against Cobra, Common Crate, Russell Swiper and Saw Scale Wiper. So it is not effective against King Cobra. So whenever a patient comes with King Cobra White, this will not be actually effective but people go on administering this. So the basic details are, these are dried immunoglobulin fragments which have been lyophilized and made into powderized form. The preservative is Crisol, the stabilizer is glycine and the process by which this dried powder form of immunoglobulins are produced are known as lyophilization. And these immunoglobulins are produced from horse serum reconstituted with normal saline or glucose or sterile water. Root should be slow IV root, never go for intramuscular administration. So whenever there is a snake bite, we will be giving painkillers and all to prevent the pain. So always use opioid analgesics than NSAIDs. Tramadol will be a good choice of drug for analgesia. Why we are not using NSAID is that NSAIDs may cause bleeding if at all it's wiper and all. The bleeding will be very higher rate. And... So there is a chance of anaphylaxis whenever we are going for anti-snake venom administration. So you should always carry adrenaline. You should always carry adrenaline with you. So whenever there is any anaphylactic reaction and animal is going for any shock symptoms and all, you should go for adrenaline administration. So this is actually the adrenaline vial and you have to always think about this anaphylactic reactions early anaphylactic reactions will occur within 10 to 180 minutes sometimes it can be pyrogenic that is due to the endotoxins in the venom flora of the snake so thank you